why we need plants. A country parson in England in the late 18th century carried out a very elegant experiment that showed that animals need plants. He took a very tight jar and he put a mouse in it and left it. Please don't do this experiment yourselves. The mouse died. He then took another mouse and put it in a tight jar and put a plant in there. The mouse lived. So the plant is doing something that the mouse needs. You can also imagine that if you left the mouse for many days in the bell jar, it would die anyway of starvation. But here, if you gave it food, it would live. And the food is plants. So what is happening? And I'm going to draw on this side in the different colors what is happening in the mouse and the plant. So first the mouse. The mouse has food and it uses this food to get energy and to grow. And when it does this, it needs oxygen, which I will write with the chemical formula, oxygen, O2, and it produces carbon dioxide, the chemical formula, CO2. And in the closed bell jar, all the oxygen went and the rat suffocated. So what about the plant? Well, have you ever seen a plant eating? I don't think so. Plants use light energy to drive how they work. They carry out something called photosynthesis. Photo means light, synthesis means making things, so photosynthesis is making things. So, what do they make and what do they make it from? Well, the plants take carbon dioxide and turn it into things like starch and sugar. And in doing this, they release oxygen. So you can see that the plants are taking the carbon dioxide from the animals and turning them back into oxygen, which the animals need for their metabolism, for their respiration. The plants are also producing the food which animals need to live. So there's this loop, there's this dependence. One or two more things. First, plants do not only make starch and sugar, they also make thousands of other chemicals, some of them which we really need, vitamins and other things which we require to live healthily and to grow. Second thing is, you could say some animals don't eat plants. For example, cats. Cats eat mice. But mice eat plants. So in the end, the cats need the plants as well. A third thing, we are now burning fossil fuels for energy. These fossil fuels were produced from billions of years of plants which accumulated deep down in the earth and were turned into coal, oil and uh, petrol and gas. We are releasing this so quickly this carbon dioxide so quickly that the carbon dioxide concentration is rising and many scientists are worried that this will alter the Earth's climate. So I think, hope I've explained why we need plants for food, for energy, and we have to do this carefully. Thank you.